bonus challenge. Okay. Collect all the corn. That is a... Okay. So move forward. I'm going to just throw down code and see. Notice how I step through. It's always a good idea to try that first. So this seems to be working. So we got two there. So I'm going to actually start right now using a loop. Because I know we're going to need these repeats. So two times over this. And then what? Well, once I get to here, I'm going to turn right once. And then I think that's five times. So I'll put a repeat right here. Oh, look, it's already five. So I'll, I guess I'll turn right. I think I'll move forward and I'll pick corn. Then what? Well, it looks like I need to turn right there. Oh, and I went one too far, I think. Let's see. Yep, now I turn right. Then what? One, two, three, four. What do I want to do? I want to take a step. Then I'm going to pick the corn. Then I get to here and I'll turn right, noticing a pattern. And then what? One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? forward pick yeah so what you got to realize is doing this each loop runs separately this will happen twice i move forward and you can always step through it helps move forward pick the corn step forward pick the corn now once this is done i drop below and i turn right what's next well two times over four times now Doop. move forward once pick the corn three more times move forward once pick the corn Two more times, move forward once, pick the corn. One more time, move forward once, pick the corn. Then I fall beneath and I turn right. Now what am I going to do? Well, I turned right once. Now four times in a row, I have to move forward, pick corn, hit the bottom of the pink mouth thing, zoop, and move forward, pick the corn, zoop, move forward, pick the corn. One more time to hit four, so I would move forward and pick the corn. I've completed this. I've fulfilled this. I've now done this four times, so I fall beneath and turn right. Then what? Well, six times over. Victory! Next one. And here we are. This level, I will tell you, is difficult and confusing. Enjoy. No, nah, just kidding. Let's talk about it. So, obviously, we want to get through all the rows. We want to pick all the stuff. But, <laughs> yikes. It's uh, easy. So, what I'll start doing is, like I always do, I'm going to throw down code to get an idea. And we've done this enough. Move forward, move forward, pick lettuce. Move forward, move forward, pick lettuce. Three times. Done deal, right? That much we know. Well, let me hit reset. And I can tell you right away, you want to start thinking about this a, different, a bit differently. I've seen this done, well, a lot of different ways, honestly. But if you're just going to try to go up and down and up and down and back and forth, it's going to take way too many blocks. Let me throw some stuff at you just as a tip, right? So if you notice, pick three and I ended up here. Well, what if I were to turn right then and continue onward? So turn right, I would what? Move forward, move forward, then what? Pick lettuce, right? Where would that get me? Okay, so maybe I'll just go straight down. I know it's tempting just to do this way. But maybe I'll just go straight down. Move forward, move... Oh, pick lettuce. Move forward, move forward, pick lettuce. Oh, okay, so once again, I'm repeating, so I know what to do there. Boom. All right. Quachow and quachow, right? Okay, well, then where do I end up? Right here. Hmm. Well, then what would I do? Well, I guess I can turn right. And then what? Hmm. Move forward, move forward, pick lettuce. And I know we can use a repeat. One lettuce, two lettuce, three lettuce. Let's try this. Okay, and you can see, then I would have to take care of all these. What would I do right here, though? Oh, I would turn right. Oh, wait, we have a pattern now. So now I can start using loops, right? Don't repeat yourself three times. I can just use a repeat block to do my repeating. So I could do this three times. And this gets me a good chunk of the way there. So this is one solution I've seen. This doesn't solve it, by the way. This only gets you to here. Then you have to take care of all of this. And you're going to have to just start dropping code, right? And trying to use repeat loops to get it under 20. It's still going to be a challenge. This isn't actually how I originally approached it. You can get that down to, I think, 18 blocks. 
Now, how I approached it was, what is repeating? What are loops doing? Loops really want code to be identical, because if a thing is identical, well, you can throw it in a loop. Well, how can I break this down into identical steps? I was like, hmm, well, what if I go down each row, picking all four, turn around, and go all the way back? So, yeah, I have to go over more spaces, but that is all the way down, picking all the way back, all the way down, all the way back. Then my turning, right, because this would be a left turn, this would be a right turn, that's different. But if I go down and back, that's identical each time. And let me kind of show you this. So I end here, move forward, move forward, turn right. I'm just going to start dropping blocks less there. And then what? Well, then I'm here, and I can start saying, okay, pick me some lettuce, then move forward twice. Then what? Oh, I'm going to pick lettuce and move forward twice. Then what? Oh, well, so it looks like, let's just try, I know I need to do this at least twice, whoop, and whoop, or maybe is it three times? Let's see. Yeah, so I can do this a whole nother time. Boom. Now what? Oh, I'm going to end here at the lettuce, so this is useless. Nope. I can just put a pick lettuce right here to pick that last lettuce. Now, like I said, I'm going to go all the way back here because this would then be repeatable all the way down a row, all the way back. I could use it for all three rows. How to do that? Well, when I get to the end, I guess I'll turn right once and then twice. That would be a turn around. And then how many steps back? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, once I'm all the way there, I should be here. What am I going to want to do? Um, well, let's see which way. I'm going to actually zoom out. There's so much code here. Okay, I'm going to want to turn right. Step two, turn right. Then what? Well, then I'll be here. And then, oh yeah, I'm going to want to pick the lettuce and move too. So we've done this before. I hope you're yelling at me. We did it three times right there, right? So we pick the lettuce. We move one. And now we move two. Wait a minute. I'm starting to repeat myself. So what am I about to do? I'm about to redo this entire line of code, right? Because I turned around here, I turn, I go down, I go all the way down and up. Okay, then what am I going to do? Well, once I get here, I was going to say I turn, I go down here, I turn, and I go all the way down, then back up. We already have code for that. That's why these steps are identical. And then I would have to have added these to keep it going. So how many times do I need to do that? Well, there's three rows. And this was my... And I'm 19 lines. Now, you might be able to use that first way I showed you and do it in 18 lines. Maybe you get super fancy in 17. Regardless, this is a really fun challenge. Onwards.